Okay guys, so let's do it. Uh, so um, I have my computer here. I have a couple of comments here. So I'll read some and answer some to the best of my ability. And if you have some responses to some of those questions, you can put that in the comment section down below. Okay, so this is a question I get quite frequently, uh, especially from high school students, those that are almost completing high school, want to get into uh, university, college. Uh, a big question is, what should I study to get into, uh, is it engineering or IT related course uh, when they get to university? Uh, and my response uh, to that is the most important thing, the most important subject you need to have is number one, maths or mathematics. That one is non-negotiable. You need to have it, especially if you want to get into university. Uh, that is the most crucial. And make sure you do well in it. That is also important. It's not just important to have it. It's important to also excel. And things that you can use to help you excel, uh, talk to your teachers, uh, look for explanations. There's so many good teachers online on YouTube that will teach you even the complicated topics or complicated subjects. So go on to that. That is the first subject. Then number two is physics. Physics is also nice to have, especially if you want to get into engineering. Uh, for example, some courses don't really require you to do physics. Uh, for example, if you want to get into computer science, or if you want to get into IT, but most engineering related degrees, one both, both maths and physics. So that's also in handy. Whereas if you made up your mind, you only want IT, you only want computer science or maths uh, at university, then you can just focus on maths. Then the other subjects, just choose pretty much whatever you like or whatever is comfortable for you. But if you have a specific interest in computer related courses, another subject will be IT. Whatever they call it in your country, uh, it can be called computer studies, it can be called computer literacy, it can be called information technology, anything that gives you some hands-on experience with programming helps a lot. Uh, especially when you get into university, you do a lot of programming. It helps to have an idea or a picture. It makes your life a lot easier. It doesn't mean that if you've not had experience with programming before university that you'll flop. No. It means that you'll just have... You won't be studying from point zero. And that's also important in your learning process. So yeah. Those are the three most important subjects and the rest of the subjects. Just choose subjects that you can excel at because uh, they mainly focus on those important ones. The rest, uh, so choose things that you can pass, things that maybe you like, and then yeah, get into university. Yeah, so that is a big question that shows up on my videos.